I should have checked. I can, we could check in the map, but oh well, I already did this. 21%. Why 21? I guess I was at 21.1? Alright, well, again, I'm assuming we're still on the good run. So next up, we have to do... What's it called? Gagazette is worth 0.4... And then Xanderkin's worth 1.8. That's 2.2%. And then Killika's worth 1.6. There's going to be a Killika event at the end of Chapter 1. So, we should be at like 25%? We should be at 25% by the end of Chapter 1. Alright. Let's go to Gagazette. Some of the Ronto are having a tough time burying their hatred for the Guado. Man, I'd hate to be their elder. Understandable. Let's go see how Kamari's doing. Live here on Mount Gagazet. Kamari is their elder now, and he's working hard to unite his people. Still, it seems much quieter here than it used to be. Maybe because summoners no longer come here to climb the sacred mountain. Good old Kamari. Kimari! You na look well, Kimari glad. How you been, Kimari? What's it like being an elder? Elder's job difficult, Kimari troubled. Elder, Leon and Aid not here. Children have left mountain, gone to search for Elder's horn. What's going on? Leon and Aid still pups, but bear Ronso future. Say they search for a way to fix Kimari's broken horn. If Kimari act like true elder, these things not happen. Maybe so. Kimari? I summon a Yuna, it is Garrick's honor. Nice to meet you. Garrick, no Yuna saved Spira, but Ronso not saved yet. Um. Oh, and I remember those uh, Ronso kids. We're gonna have to do something with them in like chapter two or three. I believe this is the response we want to say. Huh? Okay, so now we have to go around saying different responses to people. Kimari worried about Leon and Aid, but Kimari cannot leave Mountain. If you not find Leon and Aid, bring them back to Gagazet. Yeah, we're gonna find Leon and Aid at some point. You not? Is everything okay? Kimari troubled. Bronzo youth grow horns of hatred for Guado. So, you have to say different responses, so this you say you have to learn to deal with these things. Yuna. Kimari sorry. Whining make Kimari small. Cheer up, Kimari. You got this, Kimari. You got this. I can imagine how you must feel. Run so always remember those who are gone. Must ask High Summoner Yuna, find Lee and aid. Leave it to the gull wings. Thank you. Don't so always remember. Oh, I already talked to you. Huh? Alright, you don't say anything. Guado leave Guado Salam. Guado plan dark schemes. I'm sure you're right. 
Yes, Squado Dark and Shifty. It is Squado Way. You're the one I talked to, right? I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never forgive Seymour, never forgive Guado. Well, never forgive Seymour, maybe, but, you know, Guado, um, I think the Guado deserve a second chance. So for this one, I, um, I have to say I wouldn't forgive them either, even though I probably would. Yes, never forgive. Just to agree with the Bronzo there. Many Ronso lost lives in battle to defend High Summoner Yuna. I will never forget their sacrifice. Thank you, Byron and Yank. Rejoice now on far plane. Talk to you already, and I think it's you, and then there's someone else on the mountain path. Build monument to Ronso glory. First must choose subject. And now I think there's someone in the mountain path. Let me see, we said I can imagine how you must feel. You have to learn to deal with these things. Leave it to the Gullwings. I'm sure you're right. Never forget their sacrifice. So now we have to... Go to the Fate Scar. Is it you? Power of Fate Wayne, cave water disappears. Change will come to Ronzo too. Oh yeah, yeah, it's you. Change for the better, I hope. I also hope this too. That's that guy. And then now... Let's do a quick fight here. I want to see the uh, enemies here. Before we head the Xanderkind. The game wants to get... There we go. Oh, look, it's a Chimera. It's been metamorphosized into a chimera from Ark the Lad. Dead. Too easy. Good stuff, good stuff. I think that's good. We're already level 15. Let's head back to the front. I'm gonna double check Gagazet's gate and see if we talked to everyone. I think we did. There should be six, right? Yeah, six. That was the seventh. There should be six Ronso here. Hamari counting six. It was you, you, Hamari. Garrick doesn't count. We weren't able to talk to him. You, you, you're Garrick, so you don't count. And then, yeah, okay, six. Perfect. All right, we're good. So I believe now... We're good to head to Xanarkind. Yeah, I think we're done with all the optional stuff. So now we go to, um... Move on to story. We are at 22%. Perfect. Alright, let's do Xanarkind. Xanarkind Sphere Hunt. We're getting sphere waves from deep inside the ruins. Given the place, I wouldn't be surprised if this one was a thousand-year-old sphere. Let's do it, my dudes. This is where we sat, that night. The seven of us. I've never talked about it. I didn't want to share my memories. I wanted to keep that feeling, this place, within me forever. Now look at it. A tourist attraction. Whose idea was that? <sighs> oh, mission out the gate. Chat, give me give me one second. I don't know. I hear something, but I want to make sure. I hear something downstairs. I gotta go check and see if something's like if I left something running or something. I I don't want it to be. So I'll be I'll be right back. Give me give me a sec. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, luckily it wasn't a big deal. Claim the treasure sphere. Treasure sphere waves have been traced to the Xanarkin ruins. Once holy ground, don't be... Don't be the last few hunters to claim the prize. I read that weird. Oh, man. Dude, this is, uh... This is really something. This is the area where, you know, right before our, um, right before facing off Unalesca, seven of us gathered. This is also where, technically, this, the beginning of the game showed, where Titus started telling the story. His story. So, very, very iconic place for Yuna, and everyone, basically, but Yuna specifically. Welcome to Xanderkind. See that hill over there with the simply stellar view? A better place to start your fabulous adventure. Man. Now, now look what it's become. Please follow the fabulous road that we laid out for all our guests. How about you not tell me what to do? You can only imagine how Yuna's, uh, Yuna's feeling about this, though. Gotta be rough, you know? Change does not always go well, and people don't always, um, adapt well to change. Yo, it's my boy? My boy Isaru? You know? You've changed so much, I hardly recognize you. Remember me? Oh, dude, of course. It's good to see you again, Isaru. I'm honored that you remember me. Why are you here? Ah, yes. I've been helping Sid with his work. Don't look at me. I guide people through Xanarkind, once the most sacred of places. People come from all over Spira, Sphere Hunters, too. Oh. Ah, oh, what the heck is Pop thinking? I can see this is upsetting you. But this is a place of great historical importance for all of Spira. I know, but still. I... Never wanted anyone else to stand there. You know? Nothing. Forget it. If you say so. Ah, I must be getting to work now. Please, take care, Yuna. Nice to see you again. You know, Moroda was kind of a dick and all, so... Really nice to hear from you again, because you're the better one. But yeah, like, honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. On the one hand, with this whole Yuna thing about how she feels about this becoming a tourist attraction, it may seem petty, like she's being petty about like, oh, I want, the way she said it, like, oh, I want no one else to stand here. But on the other hand, I see what she's feeling. I can understand what she's going through. In a way, so I'm not really like, you know, for or against it. There are pros and cons to how I feel about the whole thing. It's just, it's a, it's a whole big mess in my brain of how I feel about this whole thing. Because, like, I, I totally get why she would feel that way and what she feels, but, like, it could come off as a little petty depending on how you look at it. Like, oh, I want, like, no one to be here ever again. When you think of it like that, it could be kind of considered, uh, petty might not be the right word, but I can't think of a better word for it. Selfish, maybe? I don't know. But I understand where she's coming from, so I don't really want to go too much into it. It's a whole big jumbled mess in my brain on my opinions on that. Great city leveled a thousand years ago, the final destination of Spira's Summoner. Xanarkind, isn't it fabulous? Are you really the real deal? You tell me, dude. I'm like touched. Touched, huh? Aw oh, man, would someone find a sphere already? Work is just crawling today. Oh, I've always wanted to come here. They even slept? Left us here with that airship of theirs. I tell you, her progress has done wonders for Fira. Well, I don't know what that word was, but I don't really care. I sell precious spheres at discount prices and live like a king, a rich king, even. I thought that was making at first. So we gotta go up here? Let's head out! Yes, sir! 
Oh, would you look who that was? Well, one of the kids is familiar to us if we played FF10. The other two aren't, but one of them is familiar. Which way? That way. Yes. I love it how they have his name as a question mark just to kind of uh, make the reveal more special. I guess they don't want to give it away right away. Although we haven't seen his face, so. Up, up, um. Be gone. You did not die from that. This will do it. Never mind, you're alive still. Enemies might not be super difficult because you know we did all of them. We're level 15. But I guarantee you, if you try to do this place like right away, you will probably get obliterated. <laughs> it's definitely stronger than any of the other optional areas. Should have done a mental break there. Oshimai. Whatever that means. Transformation sequence. Yuna unleashing the psychic bomb when the enemy's dead. Love it. Anything up here? Woohoo! What do we have here? Nothing? Wow. Thanks, game. You made me go through that for nothing. What's the point? <gasps> Lady Yuna! Do you remember me? Sure I do. You're Pase. You remembered me. This is Hana, and this is Taro. Nice to meet you, Lady Yuna. What are you doing here? There are fiends around. Fiends? Ha! Uh-huh, that's right. We're sphere hunters. The Kindergarten! The Kindergarten! You here on some kind of treasure hunt? So key must be a clue to finding the treasure. Uh-huh, that's right. Shh. We paid 15 whole gil for that. Come on, let's go. Kindergartians, move out. I hate everything about that name, by the way. See you, Lady Yuna. 15 gil for a clue? Oh, kindergartens. Clever. It's a gecko. It's the Geico gecko. Gotta kill him before he gives us, like, our, um, doesn't give us a discount on insurance. Oh, yo, I got Mazer Eye. All right, Geico, time to die. Huh. That's it? Yo, borrowed time. Actually, I probably should have checked your ability sooner. 24% with this is not bad. Ooh, Flea is going to be good. It's 10 AP, and it's going to be a lot easier to use rather than being like, hey, run. Because obviously, if you remember FF10, if you didn't have the flea command, you had to run with every single unit. This game is much the same. Come in, come in. Do you read me? Oh, hey, I wanted to double check that clue. It's Mon, right? Nah, it's just that I heard some kids saying it was key. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was Mon. Over and out. The clues are key and mon. What? The gullwings? 
Pokemon? It's a Digimon. Monkey! We won't let you off so easily this time. Keymon. Oh, Yuna. Get these snakes out of here. <laughs> 